Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. A new front definitely will be open in Moldova. And we have two big problems over there. Not we, but they have two big problems. One, it used to be Transnistria. Well, right now is Gagauzia. Have you heard of Gagauzia? Well, Gagauzia seemed to want to be independent. So guess who is Gagauzia, and I'm going, to show, I'm going to show you maps, going to call to get independent? Hmm. Well, maybe you go to 2014 and you figure things out. Gagauzia is um, a Russian enclave, let's call it mildly, the way as Transnistria. And they are in between, let's say, Moldova, Ukraine, in that area. So it's behind the Odessa's front if we want to call it Odessa's front. So let me show you how we go to the exact scenario of 2022, uh, February 24, when we're going to have NATO troops, European Union arming Moldova in order to take care of Gagauzia and Transnistria. Also, we have that beautiful lad, Mr. Danilov, Oleksiy Danilov, the former security pa -pa -pa -pu 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 of Ukraine, who was appointed as the ambassador of Ukraine in Chisinau, Moldova. So all these things, I think, converge to the same issue. There will be a second front. These guys, the West, tries to take care of Gagauzia and Transnistria in one blow. Let me show you the article that I have here ready to discuss. And then we're going to have a lot of maps and some information on what the hell is Gagauzia. Here, Ukraine form. Uh, EU, European Union ambassador, EU ambassador to Moldova. EU boosting support for Moldova's defense forces in view of Russian aggression in Ukraine. So these guys, in the name of, I don't know, uh, something that happened somewhere, will do whatever they want and they will claim that is the reason why. For instance, you're going to start beating your uh, spouse because, I don't know, something happened over there with uh, women's rights or something. Does it make sense? Well, these guys don't care if it makes sense as long as the baboons will continue to say they agree with them. So, let's move back to the article. The European Union has reassessed the need to support Moldova's defenses. That means you guys are going to fight for us and we're going to give you some money and the banks will get fatter which was triggered by Russian invasion of Ukraine, which was triggered by the overthrow of a legitimate government democratically elected in Ukraine by some thugs that were recognized by the democratic country. All right, if we go by triggered, triggered, which was triggered by NATO trying to put weapons and um, uh, military troops in Ukraine and get Ukraine to be a NATO country next to Russia, as are the Baltic states, as is Finland right now, as Romania, but Romania is, has the Black Sea in between. You see, everything is triggered by something. It is triggered by the movement of these guys towards east, towards Russia, with NATO. That's what triggered it. But hey, no, we can do whatever we want. Well, you know, you have a gentleman understandings or agreements. Well, the West was not a gentleman dealing with Russians. Let's put it mildly. After they said, no inch eastward. NATO expansion and they did what five times or something not good so let's go back here and see how uh, Moldova will pay Moldova has about 2.5 million people or something like this I, I think they had used to have Moldova being the Basarabia chunked Basarabia cut Basarabia and given to the Ukrainians remember the Republic of Moldova has parts of its territory in Ukraine as we speak why because um, they defend the Ukrainians, so they say, uh, we don't want these territories to go to the Russians, but we already have territories in Ukraine, which is our friend. How is that working? <laughs> I will explain. So, that, according to EU Ambassador to Moldova, Yanis Mazeix, who gave a comment to Ukraine Forum in the lead up to the International Mayor Summit in Chisinau. Chisinau is the capital of the artificial country of Moldova. Why do I say artificial? Because if you take something from someone, 
and then that someone dies, that thing that was taken by force from you should come back to the owner, which is Romania. That's a 1940 ultimatum done by the Georgian communist dictator Stalin. Not by the Russian Stalin, by the Georgian Stalin. Got that? Okay, now we move on. And I'm quoting, as for what we are doing here in the Republic of Moldova, I tell you what they do. They create problems and instead of talking with the Russians, they arm them. And the Russians, that's, that's a recipe for we're going to smack you. The same as these guys are smacking, unfortunately, the same guys in Moldova, in Moldova, in Ukraine. But unfortunately, Ukrainians are dying for some non-Ukrainians who took over their country, I guess. As for what we are doing here in the Republic of Moldova in the past, we were engaged in practically all spheres of life except the defense. Yes, because uh, Moldova was supposed to be neutral, but you broke the neutrality. As for the past several years, we've had, and that's basically what triggered by Russian's aggression in Ukraine, is rethinking of our engagement. Did you do the same thing when the United States of America uh, aggressed uh, Yugoslavia? No. Why? Because you were participants. Did you, do the, did you do the same thing when the United States invaded and bombed um, Iraq on a false pretense? No, because you were also perpetrators. How about Afghanistan? How about uh, Libya? How about Syria? So, of course, no credibility. So, they are ready. So, let's go to the next thing and find out what's going on here with Gagauzia. Because this is not happening in a vacuum, obviously. Here, Sputnik. Gagauzia to appeal to Russia, among others, if Moldova sends troops to region. Now, where is this Gagauzia? What the hell this Gagauzia is? Let's see. Gagauzia. It's an autom aut autonomous territorial unit of, unit of Gagauzia. It's an autonomous territorial unit of Moldova. Its autonomy is intended for the local Gagauz people, a Turkish, 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 speaking primarily orthodox ethnic group. So we got the Turks and we got the Russians, right? Basarabia. <laughs> Previously, the eastern half of the principality of Moldova was annexed by the Russian Empire in 1812. At the end of the World War I, all of Basarabia, including what was known as Gagauzia, switched control of the Kingdom of Romania. How was, how was it annexed by the Russian and from whom? And from whom? Moldova was Stepan's Moldova, which in incorporated Gagauzia and uh, Basarabia. So what happened here? It says here that um, a Soviet invasion and occupation began in June 1940, but the territory was again occupied by Romania, occupied, from 1941 to 1945 after the latter joined the Axis powers and helped invade the USSR. So they said, we're going to go and take it back from the Russians. But doesn't work that way. When you have a master, you do what the master says. So they didn't stop there. They stopped to crush the communists and they went to uh, Stalingrad. So here is this is Republic of Moldova, so called. All right. I will show you different maps. This is the Gagauzia thing. And like a, I don't know, like a walking. <laughs> I was about to say something. This part here was also was also part of Basarabia. This is Basarabia right here. Okay. This was Basarabia. was taken by Stalin. This was given to Ukraine. It's still part of Ukraine. But these guys are fighting the Russians. Hey, take that back. No? Okay. Now, this is Gagauzia and Transnistria is right here. I will show you. Uh, let's go to the, uh, this map. It's much easier. Romania, Moldova, the so-called, this should have been still Basarabia, this is Transnistria, and this is Gagauzia. So these two parts, we're going to have problems and NATO will own it, or at least they will try. This is Ukraine. This, that was Basarabia's, was given to Ukraine. So why don't you give it back? So these guys are going to fight for this one, supposedly, but actually for the interest that dictates what's going on here. This is the situation, all right? So, in a big scheme of things, this is the situation. Right here, Romania, Moldova, which is not Moldova, is Basarabia. Basarabia, which right now is Ukraine. Here, Bukovina, north part of Bukovina, given to Ukraine by the Soviets, by the communist Stalin. And here is the Russian Federation. 
let me show you this map so you understand how close the front is and here i'm not saying that the russians could not try to create problems in this area in order to open a second front going this way but there's no not enough troops here so it's about what between 1000 and 2000 russian peacekeeping troops right here and that's it what meow meow what's going on the cat is around so to open a second front these guys will be where are you going the cat is here attention everybody's in standby hey, be, 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 be. Whew, that was close not yet Okay, Inspector Gadget, all good? Can I continue? For now. So let's see what this guy said in Gagauzia, now that we know who's who, what's what. Gagauzia. Moscow, if Kishinev, Kishinev is the capital of... Don't go over that. Now come over here. All right, there, you're good, good. Good boy, yes. So if Kishinev responds to responds militarily hop, to the declaration of independence of Moldova. Moldova's autonomous region of Gagauzia, the autonomy will apply for autonomy will apply for help to everyone, including Russia. Gagauzia had Evgenia Gutsul told Sputnik. Gutsul said last week that the auton autonomous region will declare independence if Moldova's authorities decide to unite with Romania. Uh, <laughs> that's a long way, my friends. You're gonna take about 1 million Russians in there too. I hope it will not come to this, and I'm quoting, I hope for the common sense of our authorities, but if it comes to this, we will appeal to all countries, of course, including the Russian Federation, end quote. Gutsul said when asked a relevant question. Moldova's, oh, I, mother, I, Jesus Christ, this mother, fucker, okay. Good, good to go. Okay. Moldova's autonomous region of Gagauzia sees no prerequisites that Russia wants to attack Moldova despite statements being made by authorities in Kishinev, Gutsul also said. Moldovan authorities are doing everything to create a worrisome atmosphere in the country, she said, adding that residents constantly hear about some call of conscripts. The, and I'm quoting the president of the Republic of Moldova, Maya Sandu, during international trips discuss some kind of military conflicts that Russia wants to attack Moldova, although we do not see such prerequisites, Gutsul said. Now let me show you something else. Um, not that one, right here. So I put this in a, right here in a search box or whatever you call it, NATO US troops in Moldova, because I know they did a lot of hanky panky. And it says here, October 30th, 2023, video, NATO allies trained together with partner Moldova. Moldova is supposed to be uh, neutral, if I remember correctly. Five days ago, US troops in Moldova in emerging plan B for Ukraine, Asian times. NATO and Moldova continue to strengthen their partnership, March 20th, 2024. You got that? US troops in Moldova in emerging plan B, MENA FN. These are the, these are the Ukrainians, Ukraine form, MENA FN, right here. U.S. troops in Moldova, engineering plan B for Ukraine. Um, they took it from Asia, the same thing. They took it from Asian, time, Asian times. So anyway, right here, joint statement on the U.S.-Moldova strategic dialogue. So don't you think that the Russians should be concerned about it? And then look at this. These are some of the videos that I made claiming that were being prepared in Moldova. Drone strikes, pop, pop, pop. This is the dude right here, fired. Danilov appointed ambassador to Moldova. His assignment, I said, I claimed, is, uh, you can see what I see here, uh, his assignments start war in Moldova, I will show you. And then here, new Ukraine front in, to open in Moldova, this was February 10th, and this is February 1st, second war front opening in Georgia and Moldova. So let's go to this guy, so you see the whole title with this handsome lad. Fire Danilov, appointed ambassador to Moldova, his assignment, start war in Moldova. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. And there are going to be some provocations. The Russians will uh, uh, accept the challenge. And then the Moldovans will be like, unfortunately, the Ukrainians are right now. For whom? Banking interests, military industrial complex and economic uh, interest as well. So here you have it, my friends.
we have the guys steering the pot in Moldova. You got Transnistria and Gagauzia. This guy said, Gagauzia, if Moldova sends troops, we're going to uh, de uh, declare independence. And we appeal to all the countries to help us. That is Russia and whomever, China. And I'm pretty sure the Moldovans, uh, NATO will uh, take over Gagauzia in three hours or so, or maybe 20 minutes. But nevertheless, that will trigger another Ukraine, which these guys are waiting for. Why? Because every time these guys have a war, they will have to reconstruct. Who's reconstructing those? Businesses. With whom? With the banks. Good job. So my friends, get ready. Things will happen. I think Moldova will push the garbage with Gagauzia and Transnistria and the Russians will uh, react. And that's how Moldova will be dragged into a war. Uh, Moldova is not a uh, NATO country. But will, it has the same status as uh, Ukraine. Used to be neutral. But not no more. Why? Because of the Russian aggression. Why? And we go back and we find out these guys were meddling in Russia's sphere of influence. Yes, Russia's sphere of influence. Because that's the way it is. The big guy has his satellites. He's like you and your neighbor. You don't like your neighbor. But if the neighbor brings the troops next to your property, what are you going to do? Um, no. And he will do the same thing if you do that to him, if you go get closer. But in this case, it was not Russia getting closer to NATO. It was NATO coming closer in a neighborhood of Russia. That's the way it is. We like it or not, small countries are uh, exchange tokens for the big guys. And sometimes they fight with the imbeciles for their own interest. If the Ukrainians think, and some of them do, sincerely think that they fight, fight for their national defense and survival, that's misguided. They fight for some others. And their children, their brothers, sisters, parents are dying, unfortunately, not for what they think, but for other things. The same. In Moldova, this was going to happen. It's going to be a big garbage and Moldova will have the same scenario as, <clears throat> as Ukraine. Now, um, I, don't, uh, I don't say the Russians are innocent here. Obviously, <laughs> Russians want to keep a balance or, uh, or secure their, uh, their neighborhood. So the thing in Transnistria and Gagauzia, for me personally, is a little bit like Kosovo. And since Kosovo was solved so fast and easy and nice by uh, the Americans over there, uh, I don't see why this thing is not solved in the same manner. Oh, the same thing. It's not how things should be, it's the things how the things are. Which is, I'm stronger, I tell you what to do. That's the way it is. Um, these guys said we're independent, the parliament of Kosovo. These guys have a referendum and it didn't work. Oh, no, we not, don't recognize the referendum. We recognize some people saying we're independent. Some of the some representing them. It's like tomorrow the, I don't know, the US Senate says, uh, says uh, you know what, we declare half of the uh, United States of America belonging to Chapa Choco Coco Coco. And you say, oh, well, there are our elected, uh, well, there's a constitution over there. Wasn't there a constitution in, no? No, Yugoslavia? No, nothing. That's fine. That's fine. So, my friends, get ready. War will start in Moldova. Uh, unless the Ukrainians collapse tomorrow. If the Ukrainians collapse, this, if the co Ukrainians, these guys, collapse, then they will not have time to get um, in Moldova. Why? Because the Russians will take over if these guys dare to do anything about it. Why? The fight in, in, in Ukraine is about NATO, the interests that command NATO and the Russians. And the same interests here try to steer shit in Moldova right now. I'm not saying the Russians are not trying to do the same thing, do the same thing. But who's who, what's what? You come from 6,000 miles away and this is my neighborhood. You imagine I do the same thing, let's say, with Mexico or Cuba. Would you like that? Now, verbally and now you can say, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Until it happens. When it happens, you know, you roll your balls, go in, and your cock gets. That, that's what happens. It happens in 1962, whatever, the Cuban Missile Crisis. What happened over there? Oh, you can't have that. Well, you had it in, in um, Italy and Turkey. You had Jupiter uh, nuclear missiles. The Russians did not transport any nuclear missiles. The missiles, the, 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 the warheads, the nuclear heads were not in Cuba, ever. But these guys have rockets already, Jupiter. But you see, but still, these guys, when they point and they lecture others, they have more garbage than everybody else. All right, get ready. Thank you very much for being with me again today, unfortunately.
Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.